My name is Annelie. In this series of films, I will be talking about black holes, which are supposed to be the most powerful phenomena in the universe. I will be talking about black holes to a lot of different scientists, young, old, American, Indian, European, male and female. They all have a passion for black holes, and I am going to try and find out why they are so excited about them. We are standing in front of the old observatory in Potsdam, Germany, where a scientist named Kai Schwarzschild had his first office after taking over as director of this observatory in 1909. The most important fact about Kai Schwarzschild is that he discovered black holes. To find out more about this and about black holes in general, I'll be talking to the American physicist Clifford Will. Hi Cliff. Hi Emily. So in what year did Schwarzschild first discover this black hole then? That would be 1915, while he was uh, serving in the uh, Eastern Front with the German army during the First World War. So if he, if he discovered it during the army, he couldn't have used a telescope or did he? No. In oh, fact, okay. he discovered the black holes mathematically by uh, solving Einstein's equations. So Einstein wasn't the first person to solve his solutions? No. In, in fact, Einstein, Einstein's equations are so complicated that Einstein himself could only solve them uh, approximately. Mm -hmm. So Schwarzschild was the first person to find a completely exact solution uh, for the case of an object that is spherically symmetric. Okay. Um, so if Schwarzschild discovered the black holes, why is Einstein so much more famous than him? Well, of course, Einstein did a lot more than just uh, uh, find his field equations. Okay. These field equations are the foundation for many more yeah. things than black holes. And Einstein also made basic discoveries in quantum mechanics and atomic physics. So he did many, many things. And also, sadly, uh, Schwarzschild himself died a few years, a few months later, of a disease that he contracted while uh, in the army. So uh, Schwarzschild never really got to see how important his discovery really was then? That's right. And even Einstein didn't understand uh, how important the discovery was because it took a very long time uh, to really appreciate and understand what the solution meant. Why? Why was it? The reason was that in the solution there are what we call singularities, places where things become infinite, like dividing one by zero. Okay. Um, and physicists and physics hates singularities. Oh. <laughs> but scientists now believe in them, I assume. Right, because uh, mainly in the late 1950s and 1960s, scientists like uh, Martin Kruskal and David Finkelstein were able to show that one of these two singularities was really not. They could write uh, the solution of Schwarzschild in a different form so that this one singularity is now what we call the horizon of the black hole. The second singularity, of course, stayed a singularity. So hang on, um, what do you mean by a horizon of a black hole? So the horizon is the boundary uh, such that if anything inside the horizon can never escape, not even light, uh, but things outside, of course, can move around and, and escape. Now, the next thing people always ask me about this is that According to Einstein's special relativity theory, light always travels at the same speed. It never okay, stops. Yeah. So how can it be trapped inside a black hole? Oh. So to try to understand this, we have to think about an analogy with, uh, that illustrates the ideas of curved space-time, which is a basic part of general relativity. And the best analogy I can think of is one that I know quite well, uh, Niagara Falls, which huh. is a famous waterfall yeah. between the United States and Canada. In fact, it's only about uh, 30 kilometers from where I grew up, so oh. I visited there yeah. often. So now what you want to do is to imagine a boat floating down the river above the falls right. with two people on board. One person is a very fantastic swimmer who can swim at a fixed maximum speed in water. So the boat is floating toward the edge of the falls. One swimmer jumps off and starts to swim upstream. Now, according to the observer on the boat, that swimmer is going away at that well-known fixed swimming speed, just as a light ray moves at the mm -hmm. standard speed that Einstein said. And eventually, this swimmer can swim upstream, reach the shore, and be safe. The one on the boat, well, we won't worry about what happens to him. <laughs> but now suppose they are pretty stupid and wait to do this experiment after they're going over the falls. Okay. So now the swimmer jumps overboard, starts swimming up, and according to the person in the boat, that swimmer is still going away from him at that fixed standard speed. But what they both don't realize is they're both falling down the falls because the swimmer can't swim fast right. enough. And so they go overboard. Now the edge of that falls is like the horizon. When they go over, nothing really strange happens to them. And if they didn't know what waterfalls were like, they wouldn't think nothing bad, they wouldn't think anything bad mm -hmm. would happen. Um, so that's the horizon. But of course at the bottom of the falls are all the rocks. 
-hmm. and they're going to both get crushed at the bottom. Okay. And that's the singularity inside that you can never escape. So the rocks are the singularities? Yeah, there. and but the edge of the falls okay. is like the horizon. But the, the singularities are still there. The singularity is still there. But fortunately, because of this horizon, nothing that happens at the singularity, and what happens there is really horrible, <laughs> but none of that can ever escape to reach us outside because nothing, not even information, can escape from the black hole. In a way, the black hole is clothed. It's like uh, Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. Anything that goes on inside can't be seen from the outside. So we're safe from it. And not even Harry's magic can penetrate outside <laughs> the black hole. But when you say the singularities are clothed, can some singularities be naked then? According to the mathematics of general relativity, we could have naked singularities. So these would be things that just spewed out all kinds of garbage. But uh, according to a conjecture proposed by the British physicist Roger Penrose, uh, there's a cosmic censorship that natural physical processes in the universe will conspire to cover such a uh, naked singularity with mm -hmm. an invisibility cloak, an event horizon, and really turn it into, into a black hole. You said that, um, something about squirting it out, can black holes squirt things out? Um, sure, uh, well, not from inside, okay. but stuff just outside the black hole can be squirted out. So, for example, suppose you have matter pull, being pulled into the black hole by the strong gravity mm -hmm. of the black hole. Um, before the matter goes in, it can squirt out just the way if you try to take a big ball of pizza dough and squeeze it very fast into mm -hmm. a tiny ball of pizza, some's going to squirt right, out through okay. your fingers and escape. But all this happens outside the black hole. Okay. But say these singularities weren't there. Um, could it technically be possible to get somewhere through the black hole, lead into um, a different universe? Yeah, so this is the idea that people uh, talk about called wormholes. Okay. Uh, and uh, again, mathematically, it's possible if you could travel faster than the speed of light, in some cases, to go through this little hole that mm -hmm. could lead to another universe. The trouble is this hole is closing very fast, and so you have to either travel faster than the speed of light to get through, which we don't believe mm -hmm. is possible, or you have to have something called negative energy that kind of holds the hole open a little bit, giving you time to get through. But negative energy violates all the laws of physics as we now know them. Um, so maybe you need some quantum theory of gravity that might establish uh, such a traversable wormhole that would allow you to go through. But as far as we know now, wormholes are only good for uh, TV and movies. They don't play any role in physics.